TechMW. Welcome back to TechMW. In the last video, we were looking at a 2006 MacBook. Today, we've got a slightly different MacBook. This is a 2009 13-inch MacBook Pro. I put out a video suggestion last week saying, should I try and install Windows 11 on this? And a lot of you said yes, so let's give it a go. This MacBook doesn't actually have a drive in it. I kind of took it out, so it's got no operating system on it. So we are going to try the Windows 11 installer USB on this MacBook and see, before we put a drive in it or anything, if it boots into it. Let's take the USB. <laughs> Look at that. This is quality. This is high quality, integral, integral. Um, in is it integral or integral? Let's just kind of shove that in the side. This could be painful. Yes, hold the alt key. There was no boot chime, that was a bit weird. Oh yes, we've got EFI boot. Let's go into EFI boot. No way. This is gonna be amazing if it just works. I feel like this is gonna be one of my quicker, kind of easier to make videos. <laughs> Cause like, look at it. It's going straight into Windows 11. Okay, because it didn't work, I do have a plan B. Now the problem was it basically got stuck on the EFI screen. We'll leave that for now. We are going to have to do some modifications to my gaming PC to make this work. Now this could be a little bit risky, so uh, we're gonna tread carefully. First things first, I'm going to need an SSD of some kind. That's a slight problem. We don't actually have an SSD lying around. I might have left the SSD in the MacBook. Let's just go and grab it. Okay. Let's flip it over. Let's just retrieve our Kingston SSD here as my screwdriver falls in between my trousers. That was funny. <laughs> um, the ultimate plan, ignore the audio cable. We're gonna run a SATA cable around the back and we are going to plug in our Kingston drive into the back of my PC and install Windows 11 on it using the USB. Now, is that gonna work? Hopefully. Uh, would it work when we put it back in the MacBook? Hopefully. This is all theoretical, but this is kind of our only shot, really. All right, let's just pop this. Oh, I should probably like actually unplug the power before I do this, just so I don't shock myself. Is this I've put the going off. All right, let's get this panel off. There we go, you can see the magical uh, gaming PC internals here. We're literally gonna wire in our SSD like this, just straight into the back. After just a small amount of tinkering, as you can see, this was not easy to install. We have got our SSD around the back here. I'm gonna plug in the USB drive and we're gonna boot the P. That. We're gonna plug the USB. We're going to plug in the USB drive, get our power lead plugged in. Where's the power lead? Where's the power lead? Oh my gosh. Okay, PC's plugged back in. Let's power it up. Yippee! Our BIOS doesn't support these Bluetooth accessories, so I'm going to have to plug in a wired keyboard and then we're going to be able to do this. All right, this is good. This is good. So we've got general USB disk partition one. Please select boot. Do I need a mouse? All right, that BIOS is extremely confusing, but we are in, excellent. United Kingdom, install Windows 11. How do I How do I know this isn't just gonna wipe my SSD when I do this? Uh, here we go, here we go. Right, this is what we wanted. Okay, so what have we got? Disk two is ESD USB. Disk one is my internal SSD. So we want disk zero. Hey! Hey! hey. Alright, we are installing Windows 11. Good. However, this might not be the end of the story because this SSD might just not boot from the MacBook. So um yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to work that out. But hopefully it does. I mean we've got we've got an SSD, you know, we've got Windows 11. I I yeah, you know, it's ignore the voice cracking, I'm a bit nervous. Alright, the PC has just rebooted and it's gone straight back to this menu, so that might mean the install is done on the SSD. So let's take the SSD, shove it back in the MacBook, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. These are really difficult to do. One-handed. Get out! Get out! That was easy. That was a that was used one percent of my power, definitely. So what we got here, we got the the SATA thingy majiggy. Uh, we'll shove that on there like that. This can go straight back in there like that. 
Oh, no, not like that. Put that, pop that in there. Uh, I've lost my screwdriver. I've lost my screwdriver. Easy. Let's open that up. And we're going to hope that our install has been successful. So let's do this. Holding the alt key. That's a bit concerning. The MacBook's not turning on. <laughs> I think we might have killed the MacBook. Hold the alt key. Yeah, that's better. Right, let's just hold that key. Hold that key. What have we got? Right. So, uh, hmm. Uh, <coughs> um, uh, uh, oh, um, um, that's not good. That's, that's not good. We do not appear to have been successful. Uh, what, what do we do now? Okay, hang on. I have just plugged the SSD back into the PC and it came up with the Windows Boot Manager thing and it said there were two options. So, we might actually be onto something here. I was an absolute idiot. Hadn't even actually installed yet. Right, this is what we want. This is exactly what we want. So what we want to do now, we're going to remove the SSD, hopefully with a bit more ease than last time. Now we're going to reinstall it in the MacBook and try it. Open the lid. Please be Windows. Please show off as Windows. Oh, ah, that's painful. Let's just try and let it boot without doing anything. Nothing. Nothing. Windows 11 does not work. Had to start with a flashing folder just to rub it in. Well, that's annoying. That's annoying. Let's just close that gently for now because that's actual glass. I don't want to crack the screen. What I'm going to say is if you know any way to get Windows 11 to run on one of these, please do let me know because I want it to be possible. I really want to try Windows 11 on this. I might do a second attempt where I try installing it on my old PC because that's got like a first gen i5. So if I'm able to get it to work on my original PC, I should be able to get it to work on this if I move the SSD. If you want me to have a go at that, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this attempt at installing Windows 11 on a 2009 MacBook Pro. Again, any suggestions are very, very appreciated. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this one. And I'll see you in the next TechMW video.